So it's that time. It's the first Thursday of the month and it's time for another Back of the Pantry. And this time what's been selected? Pumpkin. How can you use pumpkin? Well, of course, we all know about making pumpkin pie, right? Oh, and I do want to warn you, uh, when I went looking for pumpkin, uh, the shelves were pretty empty. There was none of the 15 ounces. Way in the back was this. Uh, and all the Libby pumpkin was sold out. So, make sure that you buy your pumpkin now so you have it when you need it for the holidays. But we thought pumpkin would be a great item to use for back of the pantry. And at first I thought, well, I think I'll make a pumpkin trifle. I've done that before. It's delicious. But then I'm thinking, eh, you know, that's kind of expected, a pumpkin dessert. Let's try something different. So I was in shopping line, right, when I bought the pumpkin and I found this. It is Better Homes and Gardens Best Pumpkin Recipes. 90 new ways to indulge in a fall favorite. So, I had to buy it and try it. And then I found this recipe right here. See it? It is Zita with sausage and pumpkin tomato sauce. Well, I've had pumpkin before in curry, but nothing like this. And I thought, I'm going to try it. So, come along with me and I'm gonna make this recipe and then we'll see, do I like how it tastes? And does my family like how it tastes? But remember, pumpkin is a great addition to dishes because it is full of beta carotene and nutrients. So if you can think of a way to use pumpkin, do it. Now let's get started. Oh, I forgot to say, for back of the pantry, here are the channels that are collaborating. Make sure you watch each video. The channels participating in the Back of the Pantry Challenge is, of course, Lisa from Sutton's Days, Tuli Lou Creates, Darcy from the Purposeful Pantry, Linda from Linda's Pantry, Jenny from Jenny Gao, and me, Prepper Potpourri. Let's go over our ingredients. One pound Italian sausage. Of course, we have pumpkin, and it should be a 15 ounce can. I could only find the large can on the shelves. So maybe I'll make some pumpkin pie tomorrow. I don't know. But you need 15 ounces of pumpkin. We want eight ounces of dried. It's said to use Z-I-T-I, Z-I-T-I, Z-I-T-I. -I, -I. Uh, I didn't have that, but I have penne. So I'm using penne. You're gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil, one cup of chopped onions, four cloves of garlic, and these are from my garden that I picked, so they should be very, very fragrant. And we're gonna need a quarter cup of white wine, or you can use water or chicken broth. One half cup of heavy cream over there. We need a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes, and don't drain it. One half cup chicken broth. One fourth cup fresh flat leaf parsley, which I don't have, so I'm probably going to put in some dried parsley. One tablespoon cooking oil. A half a teaspoon salt, one fourth teaspoon crushed red pepper. That's to your liking or not if you want to add that. And one half cup grated Parmesan cheese. So I might put in some mozzarella too because I have some I could use up. But that's it. Let's get started. We're now going to brown our Italian sausage. I'll be back when that's done. So make pasta to your directions on the container while you're cooking the meat. Okay, we've gotten it nice and brown, so we're going to remove it from the burner. We're going to cook up our onions and garlic. Now we're going to put a tablespoon of oil in onions in. And we want to add our garlic too. There we go. Now we're going to cook this about, oh, probably about five minutes. 
You want it tender. Be back. Now we're going to add a quarter cup white wine. And we're going to cook it for two minutes until it kind of disappears. Now we got it boiling and we're going to turn it down to more of a simmer for five minutes. See, most of the wine has been absorbed into the garlic and the onions. So we'll be back after five minutes. Okay, we're now going to put in the all the pumpkin here. up a bit, mixing it all in, and it would have been helpful if I had a bigger skillet to start with, I should have, but we'll make do, just stir carefully, okay, we're going to put in our one-fourth teaspoon crushed pepper, red pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. And since I didn't have fresh parsley, I am just going to add some dehydrated, dried, whatever you want to say. There we go. Now let's mix it up. going to stir in one quarter cup of the parmesan. Now we want to bring this to a boil. Now we're going to pour this over a pasta. Here. Okay, got the sauce out. Now we're going to mix it up with the pasta really well. Smelt so good when it was cooking. Let's mix it up. Now we're going to pour this into our pan. Sauce. 
smooth it out nice. And then we're going to put on our parmesan on top here. Now it's time to put in our 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm just going to put some great mozzarella on top and try not to burn myself. I'm going to grate about there. Put it back in for just a little bit more. Okay, here it is. Fresh out of the oven. Dish it up and we'll see how it tastes. Well, husband really liked it and said, definitely make it again. Granddaughter, hmm, not really into it. Just separated everything off and only ate the penne. Okay, here it is. It's pretty hot, so let's see here. Good, just a little salty where I got it. Let's try another. Do you know how often I burned my mouth doing these taste tests? Incredible. Whoops, there goes my meat. It's really good. I probably will add a little bit more of the red pepper, but your family will never know it has pumpkin in it. And my advice is don't tell them until they're done and say, hey, I really like this, Mom. Because if they know it has pumpkin in it, they're going to go, hmm, I don't think I want to try it. But this is a great bake and a great way to get more nutrition in the meal. And who knew you could use pumpkin? This is Prepper Potpourri saying please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thank you so much for watching. And you make sure that you watch all the other back of the pantry videos. I have all the links down below to the channels and we do this every month. Thank you.